tattoos. You might see them as works of art that tell the world the story of your life, or regrettable scrawls that tell the world the story of your ex. But whether you're thinking of getting one or not, tattoos provide a really interesting insight into how our bodies work. Just how do tattoos stick around for so long? Humans have been keen on the idea of permanently marking our skin for millennia. In fact, the oldest recorded tattoo is from Peru in 6000 BC. It's a practice that's widespread across countries and cultures and often marks a rite of passage. Modern day tattoos are usually made with a tattoo gun, which actually inserts ink into the skin using a needle that moves back and forth, punching in at 80 to 150 times a second. It's injected deeply too, down into the dermis. And while the upper layer of your skin, the epidermis, flakes and sheds every two to four weeks, your dermis is full of collagen fibres, lymph glands, nerves, blood vessels, basically things that must stay put. The interesting thing though is that the ink doesn't stay in place just because of the special ink or the injection technique or the fact that it's in your dermis, but also because of your body's immune system. A tattoo is a visual proof of the body's ability to mobilise immune cells to combat the thousands of tiny wounds being inflicted every minute as the tattoo is penned. How? Well, as the needle penetrates the skin, it alerts the body to begin the inflammatory process. Immune cells called macrophages arrive and engulf the pigment. Most of those macrophages stay in the cell matrix of the dermis, but some carry a bit of the ink away from the site to the lymph nodes to try and break the tough pigment molecules down as quickly as possible. It stays there for so long because most of the ink is engulfed by cells called fibroblasts that trap the pigment deep in the skin. With no quick way to be broken down or transported out, the large molecule pigment is stuck there and reincorporated into each next generation of fibroblasts. The tattoo does eventually fade over many years as macrophages and the body's enzymes are slowly able to make a little headway in breaking those pigment molecules down into particles that can be carried away. UV radiation can speed up the ink breakdown process a little too. Saying that though, most of the tattoo is still likely to last until you die. Unless you go for a professional removal, of course. How does that work? Well, you've basically got to try to massively speed up this breakdown process. It's usually done with lasers, programmed to focus on points of specific colour no matter what the distance. They blast strong beams of radiation to artificially break up the pigment molecules so that they can be carried away by the body. Cool fact for you, the different colours in tattoos have to be removed using different colour lasers. The red and blue bits of a tattoo are actually removed using a green laser, and the blue and green bits are removed with a red laser. It's all down to the way that pigments absorb different colours of light. They're best removed by the colour of light that they absorb the most. And because black absorbs the best, it's the easiest to remove. Just a little heads up, uh, in case you've got your eye on that multicolored full back dragon tattoo, if you want to get rid of it, you're going to have to use a whole bunch of different lasers with various wavelengths. So uh, yeah, good luck. First, I want to freak you out by filling you in on some of the bugs that call you home. Let's start with your face. 